it's funny, you know, I, like I, I, in thinking about this and like um, in thinking about what does it mean to be number one on the call sheet, uh, I was wondering, you know, whenever people ask me about working on the show and specifically working with you, I always say the same thing, which is, um, in addition to being such a talented actor, I always say Zach is just like a class act and a total mm -hmm. pro. And our, our production, I think, is a really kind of high level of difficulty in the day to day. There's makeup, there are stunts, that we're on location, there's sometimes really brutal weather. And I don't think in all that time I ever saw you ruffled, I ever saw you lose your composure, like I've only ever seen you be amazing and a pro. Oh. And, and, and I wondered if that is something that is cultivated. Are you aware of that? How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's actually something like, I, it's strange, but I think when you are number one on the call sheet, you, and this is the first time I've been number one on the call sheet, actually. Um, I've been number two a lot on the call sheet. Um, but uh, I do think there's a real responsibility. And, and I think it's like being the quarterback of a football team, you know, because I know sports so well. Number one on a call sheet is only sort of able to shape the space and the environment as much as a showrunner is there with them to do that. So, you know, my experience with you is that, anyway, you talk for a second. Like, tell me about <laughs> your perspective and what it is to be the showrunner and be the person who, to whom all decisions arrive. Yeah, well, thank you for saying that. I mean, I think that um, the number one thing that I believe uh, when running a show is, uh, and not everyone believes this, but I believe that the more information that everyone has, the better. I don't hoard information. I don't try to figure out who should have some of it and who should have others, other bits of it. I, I feel like if I know something, I'm going to tell everybody who is interested in listening to me, what mm -hmm. I know. I, I consider myself to be like, kind of like a, a, a herder of collaborators. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I, I can't do Marvin Rush's job, for instance. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to give him a lot of notes on how to light a scene. Uh, Marvin Rush is our DP. And, um, and I, I think that one of the things that's special about our show is our cast. Um, I feel really lucky to work with every single member of our cast. And um, all of those cast members are thinking people and creative storytellers. And so obviously by the time you guys get the script, I've thought a lot about it and made it as good as I can make it. And um, you're kind of seeing it for the first time outside of the bubble of the writer's room. Um, you know, you're gonna bring ideas and thoughts and questions to it. And I just think that those are, another fun way to bring the story up, up more. Mm -hmm. I'm always just, again, everything should be trying to make it better, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, if you create, create an environment in which you're not open to conversations or questions, then everybody's gonna shut down and the work is gonna suffer. Um, and so why not, you know, have a fun collaborative time and make stuff better as you go? Um, you know, someone like Jakara, who came with a real fresh perspective on what it means to be on a TV show, would ask really insightful questions in, in a unique way and in a way that I thought was always innovative and, and showed her curiosity and her talent in a way. And, and then people like Virginia and Evan, you know, who have a lot of experience and have a lot of perspective and are, and are there um, in, in a lot of ways. Um, supporting Ashley in particular and working, you know, very closely with Ashley and a lot of emotionally charged stuff. I always thought they asked such incisive and observant questions when I would, when I would work with them or see them working. Um, yeah, it's been, it was really, you know, it's so, the world is so different now than when we yeah. were shooting the second season and when we finished the second <laughs> season even. It's so interesting to be now having these conversations yeah. and getting ready to share the second season with the world. Um, and some of those cold, freaking nights right yeah, so cold so <sighs> very very cold 
I just remember working with Trisha Brock yeah. um, and toward the end of the season. And those were some cold nights. Oh man, those yep. like out in that field and <laughs> driving the car and they would set up these warming tents for us and, and just like, you know, at two in the morning on a Friday night, just like being in these tents, like so cold. That was one of the other big challenges of our show was yes. getting through the winters in Providence. But um, yeah. And what would you say, like, were the challenges of show running a show that, um, you know, an adaptation of a book? Like, are, are there, because now, I mean, you know, we really kind of followed the the trajectory of the book in, in a lot of ways through season one and through season two. You know, was that a, a unique, because that's the first time you've done an adaptation into a yeah. series, right? Yeah. Was that something that you enjoyed and appreciated having those guideposts along the way? Or was it something that you felt more challenged by because you had to adhere to a certain narrative? I mean, I, I both, you know, um, is the truth. I, uh, I, I loved the book, which is why I wanted to adapt it. Um, you know, a lot of things in the book are not particularly easy to produce. <laughs> um, and so I knew that it would be super challenging. And again, this just goes back to our crew. Like there's a, there's a particular episode, I don't know if you remember, episode five, that mm -hmm. is like, it's, it's an action movie from start to finish. And um, when I watched it, because I, I wasn't on set for that episode, I was back in LA, still in the All writer's right. room. Holly yeah. Paul Pepper directed it, and a lot of it was shot at that lake house. Yeah. When I saw the director's cut, I, I just sat in awe for a few minutes afterwards because I couldn't believe we'd produced it. The, uh, you know, the, there's an antique car <laughs> there with, with that, that is involved in, like, stunt work with yeah. you <laughs> driving it, like yeah. you're in the car. I couldn't believe it. And then there's like, you know, Ashley on an antique motorcycle. And I just like all in the, the water parts, in the water. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I remember when I when I read that in the book, I was like, this is such an iconic moment in the book. I, I don't know how we're ever going to do it. And I remember it's so funny you mentioned that because I remember reading that sequence in the book as well. And it's so uh, it, it's it's such a important moment in the book uh yeah. you know and it's a kind of it's a sequence that goes on for dozens of pages <laughs> um and and i remember thinking at the time when i was reading it i was like it was so vivid and joe yes. did such an amazing job of, of writing that sequence that at the time i thought oh this is going to be incredible like like i felt like it was it was i don't know for manx in that moment there was so much happening and I got really excited about it. This was before we started season one, you know? So, right, right. So then when we got into season two and I remember getting the script for that episode and, and that same sequence that when I read it in the book elicited this feeling of like creative liberation and joy. When I read it in a script, it elicited, it elicited this feeling of dread, like how <laughs> on earth are we gonna be able to do this? And to Hanalee's credit, I mean, she really, uh she really took that script by the horns and just whipped it into shape and i felt like it ended up being one of the most fun episodes that we shot because yeah. of the because of the methodical nature with which she executed that i mean i just thought i can't imagine another director handling that as as deftly as she did it was so i haven't seen it yet but just the shooting of it was um it ended up being so fun yeah <laughs> and uh and really like oh like i it made me so excited to see it come together as we were filming it so i'm glad to hear that you having the experience of watching it had that same reaction yeah yeah it was amazing um tom brady wrote that script and i yeah, remember right. when i watched it i was so like like i said just astonished the first thing i did was call Hanalee, and i was like i can't believe you you did this yeah, <laughs> and yeah. she just she immediately credited jason who's our first ad she was like it was all jason i called jason he credited Honolly and tom uh, uh -huh. and it was just i just called like every all the heads of department who all gave the credit to somebody else which that's nice was really like says a lot i think yeah it's a generous crew and and i feel like uh you know we're lucky we're lucky to be able to tell these stories and to be able to do it with people who are really committed to supporting the collective mission you know and yeah. and i think that does start you know ultimately 
there could have been another actor number one on the call sheet, but I don't think there could have been another showrunner. And, and I think that's a real testament to the world that you built and the people that you invited. And from the first time that you and I had a conversation about me playing Charlie Manx, I was like, oh, I'm really intrigued by Jamie and her perspective and what she wants to do. And your vision was really clear. And now having told two seasons of the story with you, you know, that's remained true all along. And uh, I'm so grateful for that. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm excited that we get to share it with, with people now. And uh, at a time when I think people are hungry for content, obviously, aren't we all? Yeah, it's been a pleasure, an absolute yeah, pleasure. Yeah, indeed. Feeling is mutual. Um, and hopefully we get to do it again. 